Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Messages from Venus, you guys. I am doing a review of the Varaku Bohemian Cat Tarot. I could have sworn I did this review before, but I didn't. This is a, um, uh, what is this, Bubba Studios. Is it Bubba? Yeah. Am I confusing this? I want to say... Yes, this is a Bu Bubba Studios production. You guys, this is the little hand booklet that it came comes with. If you guys want to see the box that it comes in, you guys can go ahead and check out my first, my 60 second first impressions. This is an extra card that it came with. And the reason why I'm speaking a little weird is because I have a facial mask going on, you guys. These are the backs of the cards. Um, the little pamphlet that it comes in is very simple explanation of each arcana and each of the cards in the arcana so nothing crazy and it's just in english um these cards are absolutely beautiful beautiful these are a bigger stock i'm not quite sure which edition this is because this deck does have various additions to it excuse me i just burped but I'm sure I mentioned it in my 60 second first impressions on my Instagram and the information on how to get there is below. So these are the cards, you guys. If you guys love cats, you guys are going to love this deck. If you guys, um, hopefully you guys can see it. Am I? Okay, there you go. Um, if you guys do not like cats with clothes on, then you guys might not like this deck too much it's uh very it's yes it's a bohemian theme but it can also have a, a little bit of a victorian theme to it as well it has different cats in the depictions they and they're all uh have a human aspect to them they're very kind of like 3d picture um otherworldly type of cats um this cat this deck in and of itself to me is beautiful because it allows not just the reading to go beautifully to um for the deck to show off his beautiful colors but it also allows me as a human to go into the world of cats and go into the world of cats to me is experiencing how they feel and how they would think if they were to be in our shoes i don't know how this these images were put together i don't know if it's digitized i'm not quite sure how they do it but it's beautiful it's oh my god the artwork is absolutely stunning absolutely stunning um i also feel like the depictions in the deck uh for the rider weight smith are gorgeous and they're right you know put together um they're they're correctly put together and they are they don't walk away from the original Rider Waite Smith okay the depictions are pretty much the same and similar maybe the face expressions are a little bit different but they're pretty much the same when it comes to the Rider Waite Smith I also feel like the deck itself gives a little point of history as far as the bohemian traditions history the lifestyle is concerned um it gives you a taste of how people lived back then and it's also very strange because the the only th non-human part of the deck of the, of the deck themselves are the cats because everything else is very human as you can see here you see the depictions in the artwork as human um so i've really do feel like the artwork i'm not quite sure if this was intentional but the artwork itself makes it feel like it's another dimension another world another type of feeling of where the future is where the animals will rule the kingdom and humans will be left behind somewhere it's how i feel and then the cats will will proceed to take on our responsibility, our personalities, um, our way of thinking. Just like we have the past 
in artwork and in, in statues everywhere that's exactly how how they're presented here in these depictions and again they're very much 3d the gold on the pictures are fantastic and beautiful i also feel like they did a fantastic job with this deck and the fact that there's cards such as the death card that are not uh shocking they don't shock people so this deck is a beautiful deck for those people that are wanting to have a little light hearted experience not so much in depth uh experience a visual experience with the tarot even though the messages will portray themselves exactly how they're supposed to be portrayed and will come out exactly how they're supposed to come out and this deck is one of those decks that can be used for any sort of reading and also if they're they have interesting depictions of themselves as cats like human forms of cats walking around in two on two legs as opposed to four and then they have cats such as this and then they have felines but you know they're part of their family the lions and they have depictions like this without clothes or anything it's just beautiful it's just absolutely stunning and they're also not hard or difficult to shuffle um, I'm going to show you guys how to shuffle or the different ways of shuffling the cards. Even though I feel like this edition is one of the larger decks because they do have another edition that's smaller. But you can still shuffle them. And I have small hands, you guys. So you guys can still shuffle the deck in a beautiful, beautiful manner. And let me see if I can continue to show you guys some of these depictions. That I, I did not show you guys before, even though I think I showed you this one. Um, they do have a little bit of a glare onto them, and I also feel like this deck is uh like some sort of linen type of paper of some sort. And you see what I'm saying about like humans and, and the cats. So the humans are like in a different world, and the cats kind of live here in this this. 3D, which is supposed to really be 5D dimension in this deck. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review of mine and that if you do get a hold of this deck, it's probably going to be more than $150. So, this deck is one of those decks that is on the pricier side of you guys obtaining decks so i hope you guys enjoyed um this review and i will see you guys in the next video bye